Hong Kong's exchange fund finished in the black for the second consecutive quarter, although the latest performance paled in comparison to the end of last year. The fund, used to maintain the stability of the local currency, posted gains of $54.3 billion between January and March. That was down 50 percent compared to the same period last year and 55 percent to the previous quarter. It marked the fourth profit in five quarters, with the only exception being the $10.5 billion loss reported in the third quarter of 2023. Breaking down the investment by category, the fund posted gains of $25 billion from bonds, down two-thirds from the previous quarter. There was also a profit of $36.3 billion from stocks outside of Hong Kong. But the gains were partially offset by the sluggish performance of local stocks, which lost another $2.3 billion, its fourth consecutive quarter in the red. Foreign exchange assets also took a hit of $4.8 billion, reversing gains of $8.8 billion in the previous quarter. The Hong Kong Monetary Authority, the city's de facto central bank which manages the fund, said elevated interest rates could remain for some time as authorities in the United States delay their interest rate cuts. If you look at the PCE inflation, uh, it's actually been quite high for a while. Uh, it's not coming down. So we will still need to see the incoming economic data and see where the inflation path in the U.S. will go uh, and see whether they will, as the market is expecting now, defer the uh, rate cut decision and also the pace may be a little slower uh, than expected before. For us, uh, we will continue to be defensive in positioning the exchange fund, make sure that uh, there is sufficient liquidity for the exchange fund uh, and be dynamic in this quite uncertain and rapidly changing investment environment. Janice Yu, Cable News.